the basic facts as we know them of this are probably not complicated, but as the case with most things having to do with biblical archaeology, and especially things that might actually prove the existence of Jesus Christ, uh, there's all kinds of context and subcontext and plots and subplots and counterplots that surround this whole story. But I will start out, well let's start out with who we're talking about and what we're talking about. So we spent a week and a half talking about James the Just. So who was James the Just? Jesus brother of Jesus. He's the brother of Jesus. According to Eusebius, he was the first bishop of Jerusalem. They probably wouldn't have used that term. But we can also figure out from particularly Acts that uh, James was the, <coughs> the head of the church in Jerusalem. I'm not talking about Rome. He was the head of the church in Jerusalem after uh, the ascension of Jesus. So an ossuary is, here it is, an ossuary is also known as a bone box. We actually had the problem in the United States today that they had back in Jerusalem then in large cities. You see huge cemeteries in large cities. Well, eventually large cities get to the point that some of them you can't add anymore. There's no more land available. Well, people keep dying. So where do you put the bodies? So some cemeteries in the U.S. have started stacking the graves and uh, encouraging uh, what they burn the cremation. Cre cremation or whatever. Well, the way they dealt with it back then was the idea of a bone box. So you would lay somebody out in a tomb typically for a year. Uh, in a year, the body would rot away enough that all that was left was the bones. So then somebody would come in and pack all the bones up and they would put them in a bone box and then they could put the bone box or the ossuary on a shelf someplace. And often they would identify who this person was. This is actually a standard first century bone box, probably uh, uh, very typical for the period. They found other bone boxes that looked almost exactly like this one. Um, there's no reason to doubt that this is a first century bone box. There's no reason to doubt the inscription on it, the first part of the inscription on it. We'll get to the second part in a moment because it's a standard uh, uh, James son of James Bar Joseph, James son of Joseph inscription to identify who the person is that was in the bone box. Uh, but there's another part of the inscription, which is where we get into the, uh, the controversy on this. So November, December 2002, one of my favorite magazines, the Biblical Archaeology Review, published a stunner. And the stunner they published is that uh, the, the ossuary of James the Just had been found in Jerusalem. And you'll see how they position it, evidence of Jesus written in stone. <coughs> now some of you might say, well, why do we need, e need evidence uh, that Jesus exists? Well, we'll have that talk uh, in, in a moment. But there's not a lot of archaeology, archaeological evidence of the existence of Jesus. He was, he was a guy that uh, was alive. Uh, Jerusalem probably had about 40,000 inhabitants at the time Jesus was alive. Uh, if you said it would be very difficult to find archaeological evidence of most of those 40,000 people. So this was a stunner. Uh, they, they called it a world exclusive, and it really was. This was the biggest headline the Biblical Archaeology Review ever had, with the possible exception of when they published the forbidden Dead Sea Scrolls that had uh, been locked away for 40 years when they, uh, quote, illegally, unquote, published the, the missing Dead Sea Scrolls. Here's the controversy. The engraving on this ossuary says, James, son of Joseph, brother of Jesus. Do you see why this caused a worldwide sensation? Now, there are several issues, or potential issues with this. First off, is this a legitimate um, ossuary from the first century? There's really no one argue, arguing that, in, including the Israeli Antiquities Authority. Everybody agrees that this is a first century bone box. Uh, the tests have shown that the box and the engraving date to about 63 AD, which just happens to be 
I think 62 AD is the traditional date when uh, James the Just was thrown off the, the top of the temple and, and killed. So uh, the date of the box and the engraving is exactly right. We do have a couple problems with what it says when it translates. Of course, it's not in English. Uh, if it had been in English, it would be somewhat suspect uh, in terms of its authenticity, I think. James, son of Joseph, brother of Jesus. Well, the first thing is, people said it was very typical to say James, son of, of Joseph, or Brad, son of Biff, or, or whatever it was. But it would have been very unusual to add brother of somebody. So that was the first objection that some people said is, well, they just didn't do that back then. But, but if your brother is Jesus But if your Christ. brother is, is the Christ, if your brother is the Messiah, well, then it seems to me that somebody might attack that on to say, hey, everybody, this is the James. This isn't just any James. This is the James, so you should pay attention to this. So that was the first uh, issue. The second issue is, let's say the whole engraving is authentic and everything about this is authentic. Uh, the second issue is, well, there's 40,000 people living in Jerusalem. How many of them would have been uh, James, son of Joseph, brother of Jesus? Uh, that engraving, in today's terms, would be Robert, son of Richard, brother of Ed. It would be equivalent to that in terms of the commonality of, of the names. And matter of fact, as it turns out, all three of these names have the same Hebrew root, you know, Yeshua, uh, Yaakov, uh, etc. So these were fairly common names, but they weren't that common. Um, what's pretty much everybody agrees with this, that less than 20 people in Jerusalem at that time would have been James, son of Joseph, brother of Jesus. And that comes from, they figured about one out of every 2,000 people, there are 40,000 people in Jerusalem. So they come up with maybe uh, less than 20 people could have had that written on their, their box, that their father's name was Joseph and their brother's name was Jesus. But again, they wouldn't have put brother of but Jesus. But again, the, the, the original argument that was used against the authenticity of this actually becomes a strong argument for the authenticity, which is why would they have, if it wasn't typical to put the name of the brother, why did they in this case? Well, the only reason is, is well, the brother happens to be the Messiah, the Son of God, uh, etc. Did other people name their kids Jesus back in that day? Yes, there, uh, there were, it was a common name like Brian or Daniel or Robert. It was a very common name. And if you read Josephus, uh, there's a whole bunch of, of Jesus. So if, if you're reading through uh, Josephus and you're looking for what, does he talk about Jesus of Nazareth? Well, he does, and we're going to get to that with a second set of slides I have. But he talks about a bunch of other people named Jesus also because it was a very typical name of the time. Uh, oh, this is interesting, too. We talked about this last week or the week before. Remember in Josephus when he is talking about uh, the fate of James the Just and that, that he's thrown off the top of the temple and all that. Uh, and he identifies uh, that James is the, the, uh, the brother of Jesus who was known as the Christ. So Josephus already used this mechanism uh, that you would identify somebody by his more famous brother. So. Certainly, you can't say this was totally implausible that on a bone box you would identify somebody by their, their more famous brother. Because Josephus did it himself about the, uh, about the same time. And then to ju just finish out this slide and then I'll, I'll launch into the freeform discussion. If this ossuary really is of James the Just, the brother of Jesus, the head of the church in Jerusalem after the ascension, then it is uh, the oldest historical or archaeological evidence of the existence of Jesus. Certainly archaeological.